after a fantastic week enjoying the beautiful Bahia Concepcion and getting in as many anchorages as possible that we showed in our last video, we fought off some ferocious dogs on the beach and got in some fast sailing. And it was time to set sail and head north to explore the interesting town of Santa Rosalia and hope that our last spot in Baja was a safe one. Well, I think it's time to leave Bahia Concepcion. This has been a beautiful spot for a little over a week and we're a little bummed we didn't get to spend more time here, but we're actually coming back next season. So we will swing by here on our way south uh, next year or this winter, I guess this year. The weather's fairly calm and the wind should be picking up to our favor out of the east. And so we might be able to sail all the way out here and do 20 miles or so today. Start making our way north. Well, of course, with the Sea of Cortez, if the forecast says there's gonna be eight to 10 knots of wind out of the east, it means zero. Yesterday, it said it was gonna be 14 knots and it was 22 to 25. And I think that's just how the forecasts go out here. So I'm gonna do what pretty much every sailor does when this diesel engine has to be running all day. We're gonna make water, cause we're using that alternator, charging the batteries, making water, got the hot water heater going and everything. So we're gonna take showers tonight with full tanks of water and full batteries. So if that stinky, loud, vibrating diesel has to be on, we might as well utilize it for everything that it can do. We found the wind and the engine's off. We're doing seven knots. Just got a basic setup going. Genoa's uh, out front, mainsail's up. We're at a 70 degree angle, 12 to 13 knots of wind, doing five to six knots. When it kicks up, we're doing seven knots, so. With a wind gust of 15 or 16, we're doing seven and a half knots. We're just absolutely flying. And on a catamaran, it's so comfortable and a lot of fun. Our poor Mexico flag has seen some better days. We're gonna have to get a new one. That turned out to be one great sail. We did about 12 miles of sailing, 22-ish miles overall, and we're on the very mouth of the Bahia Concepcion about to take off tomorrow, so it kind of looks like San Diego right here on the coast. There's just an endless amount of shells out here. Wow. We're making our way to Santa Rosalia, but it's a little uneventful. Too light of wind, we're just motor sailing, which we're actually motor sailing really fast. I think we're doing about seven and a half knots right now. Uh, both sails are up, point of sail is good, but there's only like six or seven knots of wind. So it's giving us a boost for that engine, which is nice, we'll save fuel and get there a lot faster, but excited to get to this town. It's gonna be really cool and I can't wait to see it and show everyone else what it's like. It looks awesome. It's really pretty, all the houses up on the hillside. It's supposed to be an industrial town, but uh, we'll find out. It looks really cool entering the harbor right now. From reading in our cruising guidebook, the town of Santa Rosalia was founded by a French mining company in 1884, when they discovered copper in the nearby mountains. The French mining was ran up until their closing in 1954 and then was taken over by a Mexican company to keep the town alive and working. 
There is a great French influence in the architecture of the town, and that's what makes this place such a unique stop in Baja for us as we explore the coastline by boat. Well, this is a very different place to wake up to and enjoy my morning coffee. It's not bad, it's just totally different. It's like car noises and horns. I can hear roosters and chickens. Uh, pongas are going out fishing and all of, all of the movement of a city, a town, a working town. It's, uh, it's really interesting. We haven't been in like a town or city other than a fishing village in quite a while. Uh, all the noises are a little overstimulating at this time, um, but it's really neat. It's never good to see a sunken boat like this. Geneva's on a mission to find the Penderia because it has French baguettes. This is an old French mining town at first, so there are still French baguettes. Yeah. We're gonna find it, we're gonna eat it. What do you think, girl? French baguettes? Go get some food. So this is the Santa Barbara Church, and it's an old French mining town, so there's a lot of French influence here, and this was actually built by the same guy who built the Eiffel Tower, which was pretty cool. According to what I looked up online, Historians can't confirm nor deny that the guy who built the Eiffel Tower designed this church. Um, but because of the structure that's inside, we'll just say that it's very similar to the Eiffel Tower and we'll stick with that story. Once we saw all the amazing cookies and donuts that this shop had, we forgot all about French baguettes. We are getting set to cross the sea over to Guaymas on the mainland of Mexico. And so I'm doing all the little boat projects like uh, filling the oil, making sure every, all the fluids are topped up but we need more diesel and this is kind of ridiculous, but the fuel dock's right across from the boat and instead of moving the big boat, I'm just gonna take the dinghy, but it's literally like a hundred feet. So it feels like one of those Ace Ventura moments. I'm just gonna dinghy across on the boat and then get gas and dinghy right back. Well, that was pretty easy. All filled up. Now we just have to get back to the boat. That's right there. <laughs> pretty crazy this is our last day in Baja in the morning we're headed across to the mainland and the boat's gonna get hauled out next week so this is it our first season in Baja we are off and I wish that I could show this on camera when it's super dark but the stars are out and the sun is starting to come up. It just, you can't quite capture it with today's technology yet that I own. But this is beautiful and we're off to mainland. So far we have fair winds and following seas and we're making good time. So holding out that will arrive before sunset. We totally will. much better than this. I'm in my happy place for sure. Well, we're only six miles away from landing on mainland Mexico. We are officially out of Baja Peninsula, Mexico. And it seems really crazy 
Geneva and I were just reminiscing about our trip leaving six months ago and just how different those people feel when we unhooked from the mooring ball and set out for the first time landing in Ensenada. I can't believe we're finally doing it. We're doing a bucket list sailing trip that we have been dreaming of for a long time. We are the Davidsons and we've decided to sail down the Baja Peninsula into the Sea of Cortez for the winter. Well, we made it to Ensenada. This feels like a different person. Uh, I can't believe six months have already went by and we're coming towards the end of our exploration of Baja. We're now gonna explore mainland, but first the boat's gonna get hauled out for hurricane season and we're gonna come back in the fall and explore mainland. Your first feet on mainland Mexico. What are you gonna do? Where's your mainland dance? Join us in the next video as the chaos begins, as we prep the boat for hurricane season and get it set up on land.